Hello, Pat Skeets here from me and my cricket.com. I am going to do an album share today. I'm going to show you it's a big album. It's a trip to an amusement park, all those pages. Um, this is an amusement park. It's kind of like a Disney park, but it's in Canada. It's called Wonderland in Toronto. Um, you can spend a whole day there easily, more than a day. It, it is a fair size, so I'm doing lots of um, pages on different rides for kids and that. It, they even have a big mountain and um, a waterfall from it and like almost like a lake. It's so big. Um, then there's a fountain in front of that with a bridge over it. <clears throat> it's quite pretty. Beautiful, beautifully planted. There's live entertainment, stuff like that. So it is kind of like a Disney park. <clears throat> anyway, um, so uh, on this page, this was right at the front entrance when we were arriving. So this is a photo that I, I took of the, um, the, the sign, Canada's Wonderland and at the gates and then this is pictures of us all arriving and that i picked a roller coaster theme because it is an amusement park and i just put some cartoony <clears throat> images there and a ticket for admission i added a border punch here uh, because i thought this looked like tickets uh, so <clears throat> excuse me um i thought that was appropriate as well I lifted this photo and the uh, Miss Hello Kitty and the Minnie Mouse image here. You could use these pages for Disney um, parks. You could also for local fairs and that sort of thing. So um, it'll be fun. This was uh, a lot of fun. Lots of rides. Every ride that kids go on have different themes. So... Um, uh, uh, there's they're fun to scrapbook because of all the different themes they have. Hope this is centered here. Okay. Um, now this was in front of we took family pictures in front of the mountain and the waterfall. So um, it's quite pretty there. Um, after you walk in, so I just did a beautiful frame for each of the photos. Added a giant corner and did some Kiwi Lane on diagonals. I I used a marker to go along the edge of this to define the edge instead of cutting out two layers of it. Um, and it worked. I hadn't tried that before and actually this is a bit of an older album for me and I'd forgotten that I had done that. It works very well. Okay, I just added some pretty borders here and here. This page is very symmetrical. I just pretty much copied everything on each side. And I just, because I picked a, a bright, colorful paper here, I just pulled from these colors different smaller prints and coordinating prints to go with it. So it all worked. Okay, this park, um, I think it's owned by Hanna-Barbera, so um, I think they, they must own the license for Snoopy because there is a Snoopy, Planet Snoopy is one area for certain age kids. There's also rides in another area for little children. There's like kids zone, and then there's another area for um, older, for adults. Uh, like there's kind of like Disney area Disney parks too so anyway Snoopy is there and there are statues of Snoopy um, so the kids climb on them and you take their pictures um, so that's this image of Snoopy is not in design space but Pat Johnson um, posted on Facebook shared shared these images so I used her image there's another one too coming up later on so um <clears throat> thank you Pat Johnson for that 
Okay, so the, the big arch entering into this planet Snoopy is uh, just a rainbow arch, just like that. So I copied it for this page. Um, did a rainbow border at the bottom. And just multicolored primary colors, mats on all these photos. So it was a very simple page and lots of fun. The um, papers make it look fun. And now we have a roller coaster. So I'm going to tilt there, get my googly eyes straight. So this roller coaster was yellow. And at the very front car, it had big eyes and a big smile. It had this face. So that's why I added this onto this border. <clears throat> the, the, all the cars were yellow in this, so... Um, that's why I picked this paper and I found this great image of a roller coaster wild ride and then this was a lot of fun people with their arms up and screaming <clears throat> I thought that was a cute image too um, so I have a roller coaster right here oh this yeah it's a circular one that giant image is wonderful there's lots of fun images in uh, design at Cricut Access for um, this type of an album. These frames are pretty too. I like to frame my photos. It makes them stand out more. I think it makes them a little more special and more noticeable. That was a, a lot of fun. <clears throat> oh, we have a merry-go-round. Every park has a beautiful merry-go-round including this one. So these, this paper is the colors of the merry-go-round there. Uh, so I found these images of a pretty horse. So I just put a, a stick behind it myself to make it look like it's on a pole, like on a merry-go-round. And I, I did find this image in uh, Design Space. That's one of these again. Um, and then round and round we go. This is an image or a, uh, a title uh, from Nursery Rhymes, I believe. And then I did find this other image of a carousel. So, um, loving the carousel horses and the pretty papers. Very simple. Pr again, I used nice frames. Cute page. <clears throat> All the kitty rides have such cute themes. They're all so much fun. Okay, so now we have um, a Miss Kitty theme. I had gotten this cartridge, Hello Kitty, um, and it had theme park images, so I thought I'd use it on this page. So um, there she is with a balloon and in a car. The kids were in, a, in cars on a merry-go-round or some kind of a car ride on this. So when I saw this image with a car, I thought I'd just use it for uh, the park. So all these images are from Hello Kitty, one of her cartridges. I have a few of them. And this I think is from Winnie the Pooh. Anyway, I did another pretty frame. And uh, Kiwi Lane on, on the bottom here, because it looks like she's driving around town. I like, I just thought it was cute. I added some store-bought borders up here. Ties it all together. Oh, this balloon paper is cute. She has a balloon. I guess that's why I used that. <clears throat> okay, so there is a, a pumpkin ride. Some Something to do with pumpkins. A pumpkin theme on this ride. So... When I was looking at pumpkins in Design Space, um, looking to do one on this page, the prettiest one I found happened to be from Winnie the Pooh cartridge. So I decided to use the Winnie the Pooh cartridge for the whole page uh, as a theme for this. So um, I just created a big border here along the bottom to line photos up. and Or I think this was um, actually... This was a panorama photo along the bottom 
that I put there of the whole ride thing. Um, and then here at the top, I did Kiwi Lane, top and bottom with the same pattern. And then I did a scallop on top of that where they join together, it covers that up. Um, then this house is from the Pooh cartridge. It's so cute. Whoops, it's getting folded over. There, those little white things. Um, beautiful house, I love it. I did emboss it and inked it to give it more detail. I just love it. Great uh, tree, tree house image. Okay, so then I just picked this face of Tigger to peek over the border and another one of Eeyore peeking over the picture added pumpkin and vines all over to join it together. And there's Pooh looking back over at the pictures. So that was fun. This, these frames were made with a border punch, a Martha Stewart punch around the page. And now there are, uh, for the little wee kitties, there's big floating swan rides. So your family can go into the swan and um, they're all, there's green ones, pink ones, blue ones, yellow ones. And this time the kids were in the yellow ones. So that's why I chose the yellow swan theme. I, I've done another page with blue swans. I know it, um, maybe from another trip, but anyway, I found these beautiful swans and instead of putting them together, I just aimed them out just for a change. And then a beautiful border for up here. Just something different. It looked like feathers and they're birds. So I thought I'd try that. This is just a scalloped um, border from a water border from Design Space that I found. And then I did large mats with a patterned paper so that it would just pop a little more. Then I added enamel dots to decorate these borders and the frames. Um, I, I did use a, a subtle print for the back layer of the swan. I find because it's such a large image, if you use a pattern paper, it, uh, it looks prettier. And I did emboss these as well. It gives them a little more texture. I lifted them up here. I glued them down here and put foam lifting dots at the tops. So uh, another fun page because the rides are all fun. And now we have racing cars. So the kids each had a racing car. They were in their own cars getting to drive them. So I think this goes this way. Anyway, um, perhaps not. It doesn't matter much. Okay, so this, these were pictures of, of the kid in one of her cars. Um, so this frame I thought was fun. It went with this fabulous image of a car um, from Design Space. Might be from Beep Beep. There's lots of kid, kid vehicles in that. Anyway, um, there's... This is a photograph of the sign. You see there's Snoopy and Peanuts all over the place. This is called, this ride was called Peanuts 500. So I just used some borders and bold papers that went with the, uh, the color of her racing car and put a big title on it. Very simple page and some flourishes with, this would have been like exhaust coming out of the back of the car from that image. Fun. There's another car one coming for the other child's um, car. She was in a different one. Each had their own. Oh, here's another roller coaster. There's several roller coasters at this park. So here's another roller coaster ride. I love these fun images. <clears throat> this is a great coaster image. And it's only one layer, so I embellished it with lots of enamel dots and a bit of border put a 
this fun title and this image. I don't believe they are not in design space. There used to be um, a cricket club members group and you could get special cartridges if you were in it and I was in it so I did get these uh, uh, several cartridges from that group that you cannot they're not available in design space. I don't believe they are. Um, anyway, it would be great for everyone if they would release them. Uh, anyway, okay, so I did the same border, uh, frame rather, for all of these photos on this page. Um, did a wide border at the bottom and used a border punch to trim it at the top only. And because it was a, a busy paper, it, it was filled, it was enough for the page. I made sure I repeated the papers on both sides. So, um, another fun roller coaster page. This is um, balloon rides. So, uh, this, I think this ride was like a merry-go-round, but each of, or a Ferris wheel, but each of these was a balloon each thing so they they were in their own balloons so there's I always when I'm at the amusement park and I know I'm gonna scrapbook it because I'm with my grandchildren I try to take a picture of the whole ride itself and then pictures of them on their thing on their um, sitting in the ride somehow so um, one of these photos would have been the whole ride itself I, I usually do that on each of them. So I put, found a fun title. Looks like from Carousel. Uh, really cute. Fancy uh, two layer letters. And then I found a fun balloon image. We go to this park often, so I've scrapbooked this park several times. And uh, I, like we had seasons passes when we lived in Toronto. Um, we would go off and the best funnel cakes ever. So anyway, I just found a so fun title for that and a pretty frame for the biggest photo. Um, this I embossed. And again, I used a border punch and a, and a fancy frame. I like doing that. So I also put a background. This is um, Martha Stewart's Circle Punch. I, I created a circle behind the balloon for a background for it. Just gives extra layering, a little more pop. These are just gem embellishments that I had. I'm sure they're from a dollar store. Um, cute title. Bright and colorful pages. Here's the other racing car one. So, um, I decided to do, um, Elmo theme. I have all the, I think I have all the Sesame Street cartridges as well. So I just put Elmo on this and did some racing flags. Um, and these frames, I just decided it was cute. So I, I did them all over the place and I did one square one at an angle and slid the whole photo through it. So that would just be over top of the picture. That's a cute image. These are Kiwi Lane borders on the outsides. With uh, Because th there was traffic signs and that, it was perfect for the uh, cars. So that made a nice juvenile page. I did add some of the extra, some stars around and lifted them up. And the flags lifted too. I like lifting lots of things on my pages. A lot of people don't because it makes their albums too thick. But I've quit using albums. I just throw them in bins. There's way too many. Okay. So one of the rides is um, taxis. So these were fun cars from, I'm sure they're from Beep Beep. And then I found a taxi sign. And um, I just had fun with these cars. So I used Kiwi Lane and did the word taxi and had the cars running and that's why I ran this one at an angle because this is going uphill and then I just did a big taxi on top of these photos and ran a, a 
Cohn's border back there. This was from the pad of paper, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure this paper is from Hobby Lobby, one of their pads, bright primary color pads. Um, I did some marker around the windows with blue and then just some little lines to show that's glass. I added a little detail here too. I did emboss this, these cars and ink them as well. So a simple page, but just bright, colorful images and papers. Fun. Oh, I did put little monkey in here. Sticker. Cute little monkey. You can just have lots of fun with kitty pages. Now this page is a giant swing. Um, there's often rides that are great big swings. So each kid sat in their own swing and there was time to take pictures of them. So I did find this lovely image. I think it's called Victorian Romance, the cartridge that that's from. I embossed this oval. Uh, that's just from Creative Memories Shapes, Cutting Shapes, the background. Um, I embossed it and uh, inked it a bit so it shows, used a pretty paper that coordinates with all these. I used um, the zigzags from Kiwi Lane. There are also zigzag borders in Cricut Access too that you can use. So there's one across the top, one in the middle, a narrow one, and a wider one here in a print. I, I bordered this with a border punch, punch around the page for the five by seven. These are f different frames from another cartridge for those. And then this, I love this cartridge, it's called Formal Occasions. And it has the most beautiful frames, the fun and funky frames for kids' pages. And I just love the frames in this cartridge. So that's where this fun frame is from. And I just embellished with enamel dots, purple ones all over. Oh, I added some. This border looked like chains for swings. So I added them on top of that, like it's holding up the picture. Oh, just fun. Lots of these parks have um, lazy rivers. So, um, whoop, this goes this way for sure. Um, so this is a lazy river with great big tire type floating things that you travel around and then there's shooting sprays of water come up and that's why I added this embellishment of a splash onto this. I found this like river image so I used it as a river and then I put a splash on it with, and I lifted the splash with the, the foam dots and all these little things are lifted up give it some depth so um, it, it was a very a nature scene so I used these papers with water um, and then I used Kiwi Lane all along the bottom three different prints of it added a border on top of the bottom one um, did a pretty frame here and a coordinating print um, lifted this title up here, Lazy Days for a Lazy River type ride, and then it was splash time here. So this was a photo when the, I was up watching. I didn't go on it because I didn't want to get soaked. So I was on a bridge watching them, knowing that the splash was coming there. So I took a photo of the water coming out here and was sitting there. So I did cut... Um, circles. I think this is a die and I just put, cut out that circle with a die and cut it in half and stuck part here and part tucked between these layers. It just balanced it out and brightened it up a bit. A little more white on the page. And now we have another Snoopy page. So <clears throat> this is um, the this, this was a picture of the sign of the funnel cake place. They have the best funnel cakes here. I would go there just for a funnel cake. Um, 
anyway, they they put a mountain of ice cream on it, and then a whole bunch of cherry or blueberry or they have like almost like a sauce with real fruit in it. It's just amazing. So um, anyway, the sign has this: a doghouse with Snoopy laying on top of the doghouse. So uh, because I had the Snoopy image. I used it on a dog house and then I put a dog leash and paw prints and paw prints and just made it a, a dog themed page. Um, uh, the leash is cute too. So this could be a pet page as well but I uh, I've used my the Snoopy theme because my big thing is the funnel cakes. Now I have, um, this is pictures in front of the mountain with the big fountains. There's huge fountains going on and they're dancing and stuff like that. So um, they seem to go to music. They have different patterns that they do at different times. It's absolutely beautiful. So the only image I could find of a fountain in design space was this one um, that I liked anyway and I've used this image for fountains in Europe but uh, so I used it as a fountain here and then I just did because they had dancing splashes coming shooting up I used this image as well um, and then I just embellished with all kinds of rhinestones I guess you can see them on here um, it was um, you just buy those already done and so they're fun to put on, very sticky. So uh, along the bottom is all water, just a, a, you know, a three layered wavy border with different shades of blue paper. And then I used, I just matted them all. And then I did a, the larger five by seven. I cut out a fancy frame with a splash like flourish on it. And I just tuck that photo inside that frame at an angle. I like doing that. So, um, and then just, I lifted my fountains up, embellished this, inked it all. It actually looks, it'd be beautiful on a European page. Uh, anyway, that's quite a simple page. I used a pattern paper for this too, because it would be too big a piece to be just plain. It would look boring. Same with these borders. And now we're in front of the mountain and the fountain and, and the waterfall. Everyone poses there because it's so beautiful. An image it makes, it's like Disney parks. There's all these perfect photo spots and that's surely one of them. So here's the mountain. And then I did a picture of a family uh, there because we were, it was all group photos of the family. So I did a beautiful frame on each side of the mountain added the title family fun because it is a great destination I've used Kiwi Lane borders at the bottom and these were all in the colors of all the, the there's a massive flower bed in red all red flowers and white and green leaves so I used all the colors of the flowers that are in these photos in front of the uh, fountain in the mountain so and then I put a, an image of a ride here because it was a park um, you know um, and a little sign travel that's just a, a layered sticker that's here I did embellish these with lots of um, I think that's puff paint not in, in not puff paint but the um, drops nouveau drops so um, anyway there's a cute little ride. I love this image, it's so adorable. And then it was snack time, so time for ice cream treats and whatnot. So I, I just took pictures of the kids and it, at, while they were having their snacks. And then I had this paper that had drink cups. I'm sure they're coffee cups, but... Um, Anyway, I thought they were cute and colorful, so I chose this paper for the page. 
then I did, they were having ice cream, so I had found the title Chill Out, and that, I just did a big border along the bottom and used matching papers up here for uh, frames that coordinated with this. Very simple page. Fun. This paper has all ice cream cones on it, too. So that was cute. Now, there are um, shows here, like they do at Disney Parks. You can go into all these uh, amazing shows and they do do pretty good shows so this was one of the shows it was at the outdoor theater and they had a Beatles cover band playing so um that was great because I'm right from the Beatles I'm all about that um so I really enjoyed the um fun group so I found this wonderful image of a drum set and stars all over and then you rock and then a wonderful guitar so i just used paper that had all sheet music on it for musical theme and these were all pictures of the the beatles <laughs> it was fun so uh it was a good time had by all and then there's a couple of outdoor theaters maybe three or four three outdoor places where they do shows and then there's also a lovely big air conditioned theater and indoors and they had this was in the indoor theater and they had the Chinese acrobats there boy they were that was a really amazing show so um, there were acrobats doing everything synchronized and perfect synchronization so I found these images of a man standing with his arms up or maybe he's shooting a basketball hoop or something and I just turned it upside down and it resembled the men in the photos all lined up doing things synchronized so that's what I did and then there was another one where they were lifting and twirling them so I used the two men for that it's kind of silly but anyway it worked so um I just lined up all the photos across the top and then these are images from an Asian cartridge or Asian images. I don't even know if it's, and this is probably the Great Wall of China, but this might not even be Chinese. It might be Japanese. I have no idea. Um, anyway, did my title and it's done. Part of that show was also a big drum giant drums and I think there were four ladies out there doing drums all at the same time it was amazing so um yeah there's four drums there and then big lines at the ends so I I took pictures of them of the stage setting there so um anyway there they are playing their drums so I did drums in front of the images of the ladies and these were maybe not lions, but dragons. And then I found this great dragon image and a Chinese, um, I hope it's Chinese, uh, image up there. So that was um, how I did this page. I did fancy frames. Um, they're just a single layer. It's just on top of the black, so it shows up nicely. So that was a very simple page, nothing fancy, and I very rarely use plain background paper. So that was different for me. Now this is, there's a dinosaur area for um, children's rides, and this uh, is a single page. Um, there were pictures of dinosaurs there and my granddaughter, I think. So I did find um, a lovely dinosaur border to put along the bottom here that was cute and a dinosaur image and I had dinosaur paper so I had to use it for these frames and uh, I, I embossed the dinosaur here and inked it with animal print animal embossing folders I think it's a snake print or something turtle so um, these papers were from my dinosaur pad I used border punch for top and bottom of this border and just tied it all together 
So that's the end of this album at Wonderland. It is in, if you like any of these pages, they are in travel scrapbook number 29 on my website. There are design space links for all of these pages. So you can uh, copy any of them if you'd like to for your uh, amusement park albums. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe below. Bye.